Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for joining me. I'm Katie and for today's video, I'm going to paint a lion. The paper I'm using today is Botanical Ultra Smooth 50% Cotton Paper and I really like it because it holds the water nicely and it's one of my favourite papers. And the watercolours I'm going to be using are the White Nights ones. After sketching out a basic and faint outline, I've taped it all down with masking tape, brushed over it with some clean water so that my first layer of colour can be applied and it's really nice how it just makes it easier to blend the colours on that first application. So I'm just getting those tonal variations in first and building up the basic form. With it being cotton paper, it does tend to hold on to the water for longer, it takes longer to dry. So I do cheat and I do go in there with my heat gone. Although I must admit it's pretty hot over here at the moment and it doesn't really take much encouragement from the heat gun. It's still drying pretty quick, but not quick enough for me. After building that first initial detailing stage around the face and the eyes and around the edge of his mane, it's time to go in there with a second layer, adding more saturation to the colours and obviously more details as I go along. I'm not going to go too far with adding all the fur in just yet, I just want to build up layers where you can tell where there's clumps of fur in that mane. And of course, I had to use the tiniest brush possible to do this. I so could have done this with a bigger brush. Never mind. Just look at how fluffy that mane's coming on. I'm really liking building up the layers on this. I think I might just go in there with the face a little bit more before going back to the mane. So I wanted to paint a lion to celebrate the new Lion King film, the live action one. Now I haven't actually seen it yet, I obviously know what happens because I saw the animated, well I've seen the animated feature loads of times, but I remember going to watch it 25 years ago when, when I was a lot younger obviously and I absolutely loved it then. So let me know in the comments what you think of the live action and how it stands up to the original animated one.
So I'm adding in a few more details around the face, where his eyes crease and just merging the mane with the fur on his face a little bit more so there's a bit more of a smoother transition there. So adding some redder tones into the mane just to make it stand out from the rest of the body and I'm now going in with more detail on that fur so it stands out a bit more and it just looks more fluffy. So I've placed a piece of paper just roughly so I can get a bit of a horizontal line as to how the sky is going to be and I will bring that down with some clean water. I wanted it quite pale the background, I don't want it to be fighting with the image in front so a nice pale blue there before I go in with the landscape. So backgrounds aren't my forte and I'm keeping it simple so I'm just working with horizontal lines just to give different gradients in the landscape there. I'm adding a few colours in here and there as well for shrubbery and little bits and pieces and then I will go again in the background where the sky is and just add a suggestion of mountains. I'm just adding the vegetation in now and while the paint's still wet I'll go over it with a clean wet brush and just smooth that in a little bit more. Again it just adds a bit of depth. And now I'm pretty much all done, so everyone's favourite part, the masking tape peel off. Make sure you've got your sound up, enjoy. Here we go, all done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.